Hey guys, it's Kylie. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are going to dive into the Halloween era of things. It's almost September. Um, so I want to start doing as many Halloween makeup looks as I can. So if you guys have any ideas for any uh, Halloween looks that you want to see, please leave them in the comments below. Today I'm going to do like a jack lantern look. I've seen a bunch of these around. So I've got some ideas from like several different looks that I've seen before. Um, but initially I really don't have any idea what I'm doing. I have gathered a, a ton of palettes that have orange shades in them so um, I like to try to use products that people will actually have in their makeup collection or you're more likely to have in the makeup collection. I do have some SFX stuff on hand but like I said I like to do stuff that everybody can do without having to spend money on SFX makeup like if you can use makeup that you already have or makeup that you can buy and use more often it's it's a win-win so I'm just gonna get straight into starting to do my makeup I do have a uh, base of foundation on already I'm probably gonna start with the eyes and we'll just we'll just go through it and let's go I am starting out with washi tape which I really didn't end up needing because I smoked the look out pretty far anyways Then I use my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer just to make sure everything is primed and gonna stay. Then I set it with my Becca Hydra Mist setting powder. And then this is a Crown Pro palette. I'm not sure what one it is. It just says Crown Pro palette. So I'm just doing a simple blending in the crease to start out. Give me a transition shade. into the dark brick shade with another brush. I didn't need to switch brushes, but just to give the eye look more depth. Then I'm going into this deep purple shade. It's actually, it looks brown, but it's a deep, deep purplish brown. And I'm packing that on the outer corner and in the inner corner to start smoking out the look. I'm going back in with a blending brush in that brick shade just to make sure those colors are all blended together. And then I'm hitting my Lorac palette going into just a plain black shade and putting it on top of where I just put the deep purple shade. Not going in as far towards the center of the lid but just deepening up the lip look even more and carrying it in the crease as well. Going back with the blending brush, making sure that is all blended together, make it more seamless. Now I'm taking my Estee Lauder concealer. You can use any concealer and I'm just placing it in the middle of the eyelid and blending it out a little bit so I can continue with a metallic shade. Now I'm taking this middle, it looks more orange in the pan, and I'm just pressing it in with my ring finger onto the lid. Then I'm taking my blending brush again. I don't think there's any extra product on it. I'm just making sure I blend the black color into the orange so it's more of a seamless look again. Now I'm taking a Revlon lip stain and I'm going to start outlining where I want my bottom half of my jack lantern look. So this is my, essentially it's a mask and I'm just filling it in. I made sure to bring it all the way down my neck. I still have my shirt on, don't worry, I just pulled the straps down. I did not cover it as well as I probably should have, as you can see on the shoulders, it's 
all gone. And then I just take my Cody Airspun setting powder and make sure it's all set so then I can continue with eyeshadows on top. Now I am just taking a black eyeshadow on a thin, I think it's an eyeliner brush, and outlining where I want my jack-o'-lantern mouth. Now ignore everything that is on my mouth because I completely ended up redoing it. Uh, right now I am just making lines with eyeshadow on a pencil brush and these are the lines like that are on a pumpkin. So I'm just outlining it all right now. Originally with the mouth I was trying to go for the candle in the mouth where an actual pumpkin is yellow and bright inside but I didn't like the look of it. I'm just continuing to blend these lines a little more, make them thicker to create more shadow. And then I go in with a red shadow and start blending that along the lines, creating more depth and more shadow. So trying to get the roundness of a pumpkin. This is where I decide I hate the yellow and I decide to go over the mouth with some black. Also if you notice I look a little more orange. I did add some orange in the mask area to bring out some more lightness to create some more highlights and now I'm going back again with a black shadow brush just to blend the black out more and then taking an angled liner brush it's actually a paintbrush and I'm just outlining the mouth and making it a little bit more sculpted then I'm taking the same I'm just using an eyeliner as well and then I am outlining some of those lines to create again just bring those shadows out a little bit more Then again, taking my shader brush, blending those out a little bit more. Now I started to create lines in random places on the face uh, to create more wrinkles on the pumpkin. I ended up not really liking it, so a step that I would probably skip or take my time a little more if I did it again. I'm going down the neck, I've kind of been neglecting it, so I am starting to deepen up some lines on the neck as well. Then taking a packing brush, I'm adding a little bit more red and orange down there to help out the neck a little bit. And then I am now going into the eyes, I'm adding a red shadow under the eyes to try to get my eyes to match my mask a little bit more. And then just blending that out. And then I go end up going in with a pencil brush and adding some black underneath the eye and I will eventually put it in the outer corner to deepen up the smokiness. And here I'm just going back in the crease with a red shade again to get it to match a little bit more with the mask and to blend everything out. And then I'm taking my eyeliner again. This is just a gel eyeliner, a potted eyeliner, and just lining the lid. Again, taking the pencil brush and just adding more black to keep it more dark and smoky. Once again, with the blending, it's a lot of back and forth with blending. Then I'm going to go add lashes and eyeliner on the waterline, and this is the final look. So this is the final look. Mm, 
It's not my favorite look I've ever done, especially this half, the neck, I started to neglect. So then towards the end, I just like really went for it. Um, it didn't go as planned, but uh, I still like it. I think it's a fun look. I think it could have been a lot more simple if uh, you want to recreate this look. It does not have to be super in-depth or anything. It can still be cool looking. I think if I added some more, I think, stuff up on the face, because I like the mask look of it. I, I don't know what it is. I like mask looking Halloween looks where the top half is kind of pretty-ish and then the bottom half is your, you know, awesomeness. Uh, I like that look, but I think too if I added some like black smudges up here, it'd be pretty cool. I just don't want to mess with it anymore because I'm happy with what it is right now. And I feel like if I keep messing with it, I'm just going to ruin it. So, creepy pumpkin mask look. It's, I know it's been similar things have been done before. This is not exactly what I wanted to go for in the beginning, but I still like it. Also, if you didn't notice, I have two different eyelashes on because I can't find two of the same lashes. They gone. So anyways, that is it for today's look. I hope you enjoyed. And again, let me know what you guys want to see for Halloween looks and I will create them for you. Hit that thumbs up button if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. We will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.